Today we're going to look at two ways to pin a single patch story to a single newsletter. You'll see I've brought up the main super pinner page and selected the pin a patch feature, which lets us identify and edit a single patch newsletter. For this example, we'll use New Brunswick, New Jersey. To pull it up, just begin typing the name of the patch. Once we select the patch we want, the pinner will bring us to the newsletter grid, which shows us stories that are currently pinned along with current breaking news articles. Scrolling farther down, you'll find the most recent column, which displays articles from patch staff writers, contributors, and partners. Click the headline you want to add to your newsletter. The headline will automatically populate at the top of the page. If this is the story you want, click yes and a drop down menu will appear. From here you can select whether you want to pin the story to your newsletter as a top story or send it as a breaking news alert or local update. Once you're satisfied with your settings, choose add pin. The headline will then appear in your grid highlighted in yellow, meaning it has not been saved. Using the crosshairs, adjust the headline until it is in the correct position. If you'd like, you can also adjust your time settings. When you're ready, click Update Pins to save your work. If you change your mind and decide to remove the article from your newsletter, simply click the red Unpin icon and update again. You can also add an article to a newsletter by using the article's URL. To do this, open the article in a web page and copy and paste its web address. Now navigate back to your pinner and select Add New Pin in the upper right. Paste your URL in the text block that appears and click Select Article. It should look pretty familiar from here. Like before, now is the time to add the article to your newsletter adjust its positioning, and click Update. 